Hey guys, welcome back to Living Gratefully and welcome if you're new here. Today I'm showing you how I curl my day two hair. In my last Get Ready With Me, I shared how I style with just a hair dryer and hairspray on the day I wash it, and this is what I do on day two. I hope you enjoy and please remember to hit the like button if you do, and let's get started. So I took my shower and I used this wrap to keep my hair dry. I like this hair wrap better than a shower cap. To me it's more comfortable, but it does get damp at my neck and soaks through a little. So I just dry that section with a hair dryer and then I run the hair dryer all over to fluff it up. I work part times in the afternoon, so sometimes like today I spend my morning doing chores and projects or working on my channel. Then later I'll get dressed, do makeup and curl my hair. My husband won't be joining us this time, but if you missed him doing the voiceover on the last Get Ready With Me video, I'll have it linked below so you can go back and check it out. It's a funny one. So you see I have my trusty pajama pants on and now I'm ready to work around the house. And I'll go ahead and hang my hair wrap up to dry. So now it's time to get ready for work and I use a three quarter inch curling iron I've had for so many years that the numbers are wearing off. I have a lot of different size curling irons and some of them are really nice and expensive, but somehow I always go back to this one. It's just a really good one and even when my hair is longer, I just curl the bigger sections of hair with the same curling iron for the looser waves. Thankfully, it's still sold on Amazon for $8 and I'll link it below if you want to check it out. You see my hair ended up in a scrunchie while I was doing chores to get my bangs out of my face. So I left it and curled the bottom half of my hair. But sometimes I skip this step. I don't always curl the underside. But this is how you see everyone else do it on YouTube. It just happened to work out that way today. And this is the way I curl the back. I hold the mirror and strategically pick up pieces with the iron. Good thing I'm not going for perfection. I'm just trying to put some curl in here and there. And even when I flat iron my hair, I'm never trying to get every single piece. I just do most of it until it looks good. You'll notice I didn't even brush my hair. I just start picking up pieces to put some curl in it wherever I feel like it needs it. And I didn't put any product in it today because it has enough hairspray in it from yesterday. As far as not brushing your hair before you curl it or flat iron it, that's probably not the best for your hair, but that's the way I do it. And you'll probably not see anyone else on YouTube do it that way. But I'm not a professional, I'm just showing you how I do it and how I kind of get away with uh, the messy look without putting too much effort into it. So when I was editing this video, I didn't speed up the part where I'm curling my hair. So that part is in real time. I wanted you to be able to see how long I hold the curling iron on each piece and how long it takes overall to achieve this look, which is pretty quick. So now I take the top section down and run my fingers through it. And again, I just pick up different pieces that need curl. I don't necessarily curl every single piece.
And you'll see sometimes I move the top layer out of the way to get to the bottom section that may need a little bit more curl for the body. So I'm growing my bangs out. I don't know how long it'll last because I have always liked shorter bangs, but I'm giving it a go and I just try to blend that into the other hair. And I have a few shorter pieces that I just try to blend as well. I even have to wet a piece with water that isn't laying right. I've been watching YouTube for years and I haven't seen anyone show this. This is a real non-beauty pro job here. Then I use the mirror to pick up some pieces that need a little bit more curl. And I fluff it with my fingers and then find another piece that needs to be fixed. And then I finish with hairspray and that's it. These curls will last a few days until I wash it again. I like this Aussie Instant Freeze Spray from Walmart, but I use a lot of different sprays between a light flexible spray and a heavy duty spray, depending on the day. Usually the day I curl it, I like to use a heavy duty spray, that way the curls will last longer and I can use my hands or fingers to make it do what I want before it dries. Thanks for watching, and if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you'll consider joining us at Living Gratefully. And if you do, be sure to say hey in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you're already subscribed, thank you, and we appreciate your support. I have so many video ideas that I can't get out fast enough, so stay tuned for more, and we'll see you next time.